it's dark and scary. Holy moly. There they are. Sleepers. Oh no. You see here goes As you can see, it only gets crazier from here. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. True Gamer for Reels here for you once again. And uh, we got an awesome mod here today for GTFO in full VR capability with motion controllers. So uh, it's really, really simple to do. So I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up and where to install the mod files and things like that. So first up. You want to make sure that you have your Steam set up here. Um, you want to make sure that you have a fresh install of GTFO. That'll make sure that all the files are being dropped where they need to be dropped. Everything is nice and clean and you don't have any screw ups in any type of files or any corrupted files or anything like that. So um, if you want to go ahead and uninstall it if you already have it installed that's cool uh, if not hopefully it won't mess anything up but this is just to ensure that everything is doing what it's supposed to be doing uh, so once it's freshly installed you want to go ahead and open up the directory of where the GTFO files are installed so you can just go ahead right here on the actual game page click on this little cog and go to manage and then browse local files that will go ahead and pull up where your actual files are for GTFO and where everything that we are about to mod needs to be dropped into now before you leave Steam there is a very 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 important step that you have to do here make sure that on the GTFO on the right side you right click it go to manage I'm sorry not manage properties and then you want to make sure to uncheck use desktop game theater while Steam VR is active. Make sure that you uncheck that and just close it out. All right. So the first thing you want to do is down in the description, I'm going to leave a step by step on a Word document basically on how to do this. Uh, the first thing you want to do is click on the first link and uh, download this BIP links. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but this is where you're going to download the first file. And that should automatically start downloading for you. Yep, so there it is. So once that is downloaded, it should open. If it doesn't, go ahead and make sure you go to your downloads or your download uh, section or wherever you download it to. Then you want to go ahead and basically it is going to be a zip file. So if you do not have... Uh, WinZip or something like that you may want to download that but all you want to do is hit extract all and basically that'll pull up the next window for everything that you need to extract into your GTFO files so you just want to go ahead and select all of those hit copy and then you're going to pull up your GTFO Steam files and you're just going to paste it in there once all those are pasted in there you should be good to go to move on to the next step. So you want to go ahead and close that out. Then we'll go ahead and um, after that first set of files is pasted in there, you want to go ahead and run GTFO. Uh, so minimize everything and then just double click on your desktop icon and that's going to bring up GTFO. You're just going to want to click start game 
and the game's going to basically go ahead and start to run. What this does is it creates files into the game um, and loads up some access files that lets you um, run the game for the first time. And you need those files in there in order to proceed on to the next step. Uh, so once that's done, you want to go ahead and click eject. You're basically just going to do this until you get to the main menu. Once you're at the main menu, you can just go ahead and quit out. All we're doing is getting those files batched up and ready. And that's really it. So next, you want to go ahead and move on to the next download, which is just the VR plugin. So you'll click the link in number six. Then you want to scroll down and then click on the GTFO VR release 0.8.1.1 RAR. And once again, that's a zip file. Uh, so you want to go ahead and go to where you downloaded it again. Open up that file or basically extract all to the same place, however you want to do it. Okay, so once all those files are extracted, I like to just pull them out to my desktop, or you can just pull them straight out of the zip file and back into your GTFO Steam file section, basically the program files of GTFO. So just go ahead and highlight them, drag them right in there. Okay, it's probably gonna prompt you to overwrite some stuff. Just go ahead and make sure that you overwrite it and you are good to go with that part. Next, you wanna go ahead and you wanna download the very last file. This file is basically just some more things to drop into a folder, but this time you want to drop it into a different section. So this time in your downloads, uh, it's going to be a, this actual version of it is a 2019.4.1 file. So you want to double click and open that. And this time you want to extract all the files that are actually in that. So let me go back here, sorry. Mine go into the download. So basically you want to extract all files on your third set here. And this time you want to take every single file that's in the extracted part, all these Unity Engine ones, just select them all, copy them, and then you want to go into your GFO folder. All right. This time you're going to be going into the BEPINIX. Or I'm sorry, B-E-P-I-N-E-X, double click that. Then you wanna go into the Unity-Libs, which is the Unity Libraries. And this will be a blank folder in here. Then all you wanna do is either just drag all those files in there, or you can just right click and paste in there. All right, and that's pretty much it as far as all you have to do to mod it. Uh, I like to delete all the downloads that I have in there just to save you know, space in my downloads folder. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and close everything out and basically just start GTFO. But before we start GTFO, what you want to do is go ahead and plug in your Oculus headset. I like to do mine via virtual desktop. So I launched the virtual desktop streamer. All right, then I minimize that. And then basically in your Oculus Quest 2, you can either be plugged in or however you, you like to do it. Just make sure that you launch virtual desktop if you're doing it that way. So that way when we launch Steam VR here, uh, it'll actually read your headset. So once you have your Oculus Quest 2 turned on, uh, you want to go ahead and just click on Steam VR. All right, now that Steam VR is launched, you want to go ahead and make sure you click play. It'll give you a little error message here saying that GTFO does not support VR, blah, 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 blah. It'll appear on your desktop and may affect VR performance. Don't worry about that, just click OK. All right, now GTFO should start in the background and you should be OK. 
There it is. Okay. Now on your Steam VR, it'll it'll show that you are playing GTFO VR. What I like to do is hit the Windows button. That lets you get control of your mouse again. And what you want to do is on your Steam VR platform here, you want to click your top left corner and you want to go down to settings. Then you want to go ahead and click controllers and click show old bindings UI. What that's going to do is allow you to set up the controller settings for your touch controllers for GTO or GTO, GTFO VR. Uh, once you're in the edit controller bindings, double click GTFO. And then what you're going to do is you're more than likely just going to have your Oculus Touch bindings up top here. Okay. Right here below that, it'll be community bindings. And you want to click activate on the ultimate binding by Zurat. All you have to do is click activate and it'll shoot from down here to up there. And basically that's the best control schemes you can have for the actual game. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. So basically, you just go ahead and uh, close out of the controller bindings and the Steam VR settings, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you just go ahead and throw on your actual headset, inject yourself again, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything else should be good to go connect to the rundown. We'll show you a little bit of a gameplay here. I'm on A2 it looks like. So we'll just go ahead and host the lobby. Now you can you can use your touch controllers for all this, no big deal. And we'll just initiate the game just to do it. As you can see here, we are in VR. It is a whole new experience with this game. I really can't wait to play it. It's going to be awesome. This game is scary as hell. Now it's VR. I can only So this is this is just one crazy game right here. Um, you can switch back and forth with your weapons. I'll let you play around with the controls so you can see everything. Unfortunately, there is no smooth turning at the moment. It is snap turning, which is completely fine. Uh, one of the kind of cool things here is when you actually go into combat as far as shooting things, you can kind of one-hand it. But once you get close to an enemy, you can actually just go ahead and it switches into like a like a normal shooter mode where you can you can actually like take full control of the gun which is really neat ooh it's dark and scary There they are. Sleepers. Don't wake them. Oh no. You see here goes the VR mode. Oh no, I'm out. Oh, they're falling. Crazy VR, that's so nuts. Oh, holy crap. Oh, holy crap. up here. Oh 
boy. Alright. Well, as you can see, it only gets crazier from here. So, uh, yeah, if you guys like it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll post in the description a step-by-step -step of where all the download files are and everything you need to do uh, right in order. It's really simple. Can't really mess it up too hard unless you're putting files in the wrong place. But other than that, yeah, that's how you get GTFO and VR. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Make sure you guys check it out. Make sure you subscribe to the giveaways. And uh, you all have a great night. Thanks for watching.